now you talked about uh, extension. So let me go to one of the your extension that has been downloaded over fifty thousand times. Uh, I think that's the Facebook uh, explore your friends hour. That Facebook. was downloaded yeah. like within five days. That was uh, downloaded um, sixty thousand times. Uh, sixteen thousand. Within five days. Right, right, right. Overall, since November, because mm-hmm. I I developed in November. Yeah, yeah. It was downloaded over one hundred fifty thousand times. Really? Used. Oh, 150 yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, 150,000. 150,000. So. Yeah. Yeah. On the on the web page that I went to uh, the Chrome uh, web store, like, it says 54,000. Yeah, users that's a current and... active current oh. users using it. Oh, okay, right. People have it installed right now. Right, right. So, people install it, then uninstall it. Oh, so, so when, once not... they, I guess, once they ex- export it, they don't have to keep it if they don't want to. No, right? exactly. That, that's, that's what I do. Job. Right, right. So um, let me ask you a question on that. Uh, like, uh, I have to admit, so I haven't used it. So it's not my from my personal experience. It doesn't work anymore. But, so. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Facebook locked it, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, like, uh, at, in the beginning, was there any bug? Or, uh, and then it worked for a while until Facebook got caught up with it and, and actually cut, cut, cut the API? What, what happened? At, at the Tell beginning, the way, the way I did that extension was kind of nice is mm-hmm. because... At the beginning, I used to have an. At the beginning, there was a Googler that did an extension similar to that, mm-hmm. but then it was taken down from Google very quickly. Mm, oh, okay. So what I did instead was figure out how he did it. Mm-hmm. Oh, reverse and, engineer it. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. And I open sourced the original copy. Like the first revision is open source. Mm-hmm. And then what I did after, I actually redid the whole thing from scratch. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right. Like part of it's from scratch. Mm-hmm. And I actually. Figure, I used Chrome extensions to extract a variable from Facebook mm-hmm. that gets that that, ha, that I have access to their entire data set, the mm-hmm. whole not emails, just the whole usernames of your friends list. Mm-hmm. And it, it, is that data set being stored in one at the time, right? Uh, stored in one centralized location. It still gets stored in one set. It oh. Still gets stored in one set. Mm-hmm. Then from that set, I I the the first version was create an iframe that loads the friends one by one. Mm-hmm. And each time it loads it, it it fetches a page, it scrapes a page, gets your email address, phone number, name, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It puts it in a local database of the. It's an HTML5 database. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I use HTML5 database as local storage to put all, um, not local storage, web SQL storage to put everything inside. Mm-hmm. That way, I don't like that way. The only people who have access to that data is you. Right, right. Yeah, it's localized. And Google. Yeah. That's it. Because mm-hmm. you're uploading it to Google after. Right, right, yeah. Go, but Google then that was first, the, the first version. But then I realized after a couple of months, Facebook converted all the IDs, mm-hmm. all the emails into captchas. Into what? Images. Oh, images. images. Right. So, so you the, can't, so you can't, can't read it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, okay, I don't feel like using an OCR technology to, to scrape that. Yeah. So what I did, I found, I found a small loophole in the mobile version. Oh. The mobile version of Facebook has mm. only plain text. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I used that for a while. It was pretty good for the remaining of the months. And when Google Plus came out, I started changing the extension to add more data. Mm-hmm. And people and it went crazy because between November and Google Plus came out, only 10,000 people used it. Mm-hmm. Right, 10,000 only. Then mm-hmm. from Google Plus and five days after, mm-hmm. 60,000 people used it. Mm-hmm. 60,000 extracted data successfully. So then so after so. that, then after that, around like t- I think forty thousand people, fifty thousand people, were continuously trying to find out if they can use it, but mm-hmm. they can't. So they can't because the the mobile version, they, they, the date that they data actually, is the, the, the reason why it doesn't work right now is because every time you visit your friend's profile, if you refresh the page three times, mm. three times, their email will be hidden. Oh, <laughs> removed from the DOM. The DOM will no longer have the email, so it's mm. impossible for me to capture the email address. Oh, I even yeah. did it. I even tried to fix extension to make it user user aware. For example, yeah. um, depending on the user patterns, mm. how you use Facebook, it will mm. actually use your usage patterns to actually click to f- extract your friend's data. But it still didn't work. Facebook is actually doing a hard limit, saying that if you visit your friend within one to five times, right? Emails will no longer be visible for the rest for the next hour or so. Right. So so give me a. a, 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 a a uh, plausible scenario. Let's say if I want to go to this, uh, check out my friend's info page, if I click it three times uh, back and forth the same day, or, and then anything about that, I won't be able to see For example, see that, you say, you wanna, say you're opening your cell phone and you want to invite friends to 
you want to invite friends to your movie tickets. You're, you're buying the movie tickets. You want yeah, to yeah. email them the ticket. Yeah. So you look, go to your cell phone. You click on the friend one. You got his email address. You put it inside. Friend two, email address. You put it inside. Friend three, email address. You put it inside. Friend four, email address. You put it inside your the ticket. Right. Mm-hmm. Now friend five. Wait, there's no email address. Six, oh, seven, oh, oh. nine, ten. No oh, email address. God. What's happening? Because Facebook removed those email addresses because you're accessing many friends at the same time. Oh. Oh, so that's the same. Right. So I hate to put this this like, way. So so Facebook basically look at your code and see how this guy this guy did it, and then no, it's not even code. It's it's not even a code. It's more like if you access mm-hmm. the info page many times in Facebook, uh, they will ban you for seeing their email addresses. Right, ban you from seeing your friend, your own friend. It doesn't have to be a bot. It can be your own mouse clicks. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. You yeah. can test it right now if you want. You can visit your Facebook friend and press. F- three times, five times on a, on a user page, and the email address will be taken out of the DOM. Right, yeah, three different users, right? And then the, the email address will yes. be out. Right, right. doesn't right. matter. It, it, you can click, you can do this. You can click on a profile, click on an info tab, click on another profile, click on an info tab. Mm-hmm. You come back after five minutes, it will still be avail- taken out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty. That's that yeah, shows, friend shows says, oh, Facebook yeah. something. <laughs> Your friends will be like, yeah, Mo, you can take my email address and use it. Mm. They gave me permission because Facebook, you can tell who can see your email address. But mm. Facebook is like a great wall of firewall that basically they actually put a firewall in front of you and your mm. friend that they control. Right. Any information that comes out of your friend, they mm. can filter it out. They have the right to filter it out. Right, right. If your friend says, here's my email address, Facebook will like, no, you can't give him that email address because I don't want him to steal your email address to put on a different network. Yeah, that, that that's... doesn't matter. That, that's, the only friends. Facebook, you're not allowed to extract your friends' names from Facebook. You're not allowed to extract your friends' email. You're not allowed to extract. You can't. You're not allowed to delete your friends from Facebook. You're not allowed to delete, like, delete, delete your. Sorry, not your friends. Delete your private information from Facebook. They hold everything. Like, it's kind of. I don't like Facebook anymore. Tell you the truth. No, no. Like, I mean, especially really what you privacy. just told me now, yeah. and that, and that's a uh, that's way too much. I mean, going through API and whatnot. Uh, in a, in, if you stretch it to the end, means you still can sort of justify that. Uh, maybe I don't know. I haven't thought through that. But even but for a human going through that scenario that you just described and, and not be able to see the the information, that's just too much. Yeah. So uh, I, don't I like to... Facebook, right? But if they mm-hmm. if they fixed up the privacy issues, mm-hmm. like like I would love that. But please make it like I love Facebook. I would, like if they actually. F- make the privacy issues better and if they actually make it more open for us because we mm-hmm. are the ones who are giving their data mm-hmm. like i would still like it but at, at this current time i re- i'm really frustrated about how they're handling their users and their data i'm really frustrated mm-hmm. right right yeah it's our friends uh own, my own friends uh data are no no longer visible to us and and that's that's a bit strange especially those friends uh, uh give us uh, when Put, give the permission for their friends to see those information. But anyway, so I don't want to keep just bashing Facebook. Uh, uh, I'm sure we, we have uh, our own reasons to not like it. But uh, let's go to uh, the new another new uh, um, uh, extension that you created, uh, which kind of that triggers all this because I thought, hey, this guy's doing some really cool stuff. Let me check up Mohammed's profile. Oh, and he's a Canadian. So, all right. So the extension I'm talking about is the Hangout Auto Retry. Uh, uh, extension. So, can you talk a little bit about uh, like uh, what uh, leads you to write it? And I, I think uh, Google, you you getting onto Google's. Uh, um, I, I don't want to say nerf, but uh, Google is a little bit not liking you already on that. Uh, okay, like before before that, um, yeah. like the extensions I create for Google Plus are extensions mm. that I want, right? Right, right. So two hours of when Google, I got I got, I got invited Google to Google Plus like. Before anybody else were invited, I was in mm-hmm. a pre-beta. Yeah, yeah. Because alpha, because I'm part, of, I'm part of the Google Technology User Group, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we get invited to the demos before anybody else does. Right. So um, two hours before I got invited, I I did develop an extension that shares your post to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all other networks. Oh, okay. It's so, called the extended share for Google Plus. Right. So post once and sp- spread out to. No, no. I didn't make it automatic. I made it like manual process. So oh, you okay. click on a button. So after every post, you see share on. When uh, you click on the share on, you'll see a dialog box saying, 
a bubble box saying, do you want to share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn? Oh. And you choose which networks you want to share oh, to. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. so you can you can extend that. Sh- it's like extending shares. You're extending your share button for Google Plus into mm. many other networks. Right, So right. you choose which network to choose from. You don't oh, have to okay. choose anything. Right. I, I should download that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a most po- one of the most popular. It has like 80,000 downloads now. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So then, then the next extension I made was basically I wanted a way to... I was really I want I really wanted to get into Trey Ratcliffe's hangouts mm-hmm. and like and and um, who's Trey Ratcliffe for, for he's the most popular photographer on Google oh, Plus f- photographer right right yeah. and I wanted to get into um, Bradley Horowitz he's a VP of product for Google Plus right mm-hmm. and I, I'm surprised that I can't get into them it's really hard to get into them mm-hmm. because people are, it's really f- hard to get into them. Mm-hmm. And eventually I said, okay, I'm always pressing a try again every single time. Mm-hmm. Why can't I make an extension that does that? Mm-hmm. And I told, I told Google, um, Chet, um, Chichu and David Bennett and all these kind of people from the Google Hangout team. I'm like, I want to create one. They're like, okay, you can create one, but we, we'll see how people use it. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So I created it. And initially I created it um, with no delay. So oh. very quickly, yeah, yeah. and they were kind of cautious, like, "Oh, some, okay, we don't like it that way, but mm-hmm. we'll see how it goes." And I, I, I was, I was happy. I was like, I was friendly in a way that I ch- took away the delay, took out the delay, and made it every five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was good, right? Right. But then many people, are, many people started using the extension. Right. right? <laughs> when so many like people, people doing started it. using it, and these yeah. thousand people are using it every single day almost. Mm-hmm. Right. And eventually, Google, like I think a couple days ago. They changed the algorithm, mm-hmm. and they're handling the delay themselves. Mm-hmm. So, so they, you won't see that you won't see the try again button unless you. They will show you the try again button whenever they want to show you it. Oh, you get okay. What I'm so the try so again button will not. So your extension actually used the try again button to go through. You didn't go through underneath it. Is that what you're saying? No, because if I did, if I go underneath it, they might stop me. Right, right. I, I, I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Automation means so what the extension does right now. Mm-hmm. It, you it open just, the hangout. It just click it. You, for press, you. <laughs> you open the hangout mm-hmm. and you press. You t- press hangout. When you press hangout, and if there's not enough spots, a mm-hmm. button will appear called try again. Right, right. And you click on the button. What it will do? What it will do is basically it runs a timer in the background mm-hmm. and clicks on try again every time it sees it. Mm-hmm. So. And that works fine now. So you can just keep your window open and keep trying again until the spot is empty. Mm-hmm. So you're saying so that, the, the the Google Plus now the try again they they actually automatically retry for you or they still don't. No, I made it on. If you install this extension, yeah, it will automatically retry. But the delay is handled by Google now. Oh, okay, right. So their delay is random and it, their delay is longer than your five seconds, which uh, so now your... I took out the five second delay myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I depended on their delay. Oh, so every time okay. the button appears, I, I just click it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's so good. They're handling the delay, which is yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm handling the clicking. So. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. And it's uh, saving you. Again, you are saving yourself and the users who will go through the same motion of clicking the retry thing. Yeah, and, and before Google you is click happy. very fast. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I don't. Now, this time, I let Google handle the delay, and I'm handling the clicking. So right, it's right. a yeah. family loving relationship right now. Right, and, and Google is happy because uh, they can tune the delay to to their heart's content. If uh, yeah, if there's they any, handle any delay, and they can they can manage the random delay if they wanted to.